So here we are today at the five bedroom detached bungalow that we have got on Prince Charles Avenue. As you can see, it's very spacious and loads of parking out the front here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside and Georgia's gonna show you the rest of the home. Fully working at the moment, but it can just be wired um, back in, and you have also got your um, ring doorbell which connects to your phone, which will be saying quality also. Okay, but you can come on in. So you've got a lovely big porch um, as you enter the home. Now you've got a little um, fancy light up here, so it is one of the self monitoring lights. So as you walk past it, the light will go on, um, which is always quite handy. And then you've got your coats, space for your coats and your shoes there as well. Okay, so the first room um, as you come in is one of the bedrooms, um, very good size double, currently used as a second um, reception room at the moment, um, just for the grandkids, but it has got a lot of different uses, um, very high ceilings in the home and nice big windows, so it is a very sort of grand feel. next room as um, you come down the huge um, corridor and um, that is your classed as um, sort of third bedroom um, but a, a still you know very nice size double currently used as a home study you've got your side access down there as well This is your master bedroom, which is really handy as it is a chalet bungalow, but you have got your master bedroom downstairs, so it's got all the benefits of a standard bungalow. Um, again, with the nice big windows looking out onto your humongous rear garden, but still very low maintenance. These are built in wardrobes um, that will be staying here as well. And all the windows have got the um, safety latches as well and the locks. Okay, so this is your first of two bathrooms. Um, so this is your uh, bathroom with shower. Original airing cupboards, um, as you can see there is no water tank because they have got a nice new combi boiler um, but they have um, put a radiator in there as well so you can keep it, um, keep all your towels and stuff there. And you've got more storage up there as well but I can't get into that cupboard so we'll just leave that one alone. <laughs> um, and now we're going to the kitchen. Short space there for a big fridge freezer. Yeah, she's got lots of space, lots of cupboard space, lots of surface space. Um, and over here as well, they've got a couple of white goods, dishwasher and washing machine. And then your boiler is in the top corner there. Just lay this space is out onto the garden. It's a really nice view when you're washing up. Side door. Quite a lot of lights in here as well, so it's a very bright, very bright kitchen. Okay, so back out into the hallway, um, we will go into the main living area. Just get these lights in for you. So 
So you've got a lovely big space um, in here. So they've had this as their lounge and their dining room for many years. So you've got a lot of space to have your you know, dining table in here and your lounge furniture. Again, okay, really nice high ceilings throughout. So you've got all your tele connections in that bottom corner um, of the wall, and they have got Virgin currently, but you can also have Sky because they've also got the um, aerial on top of the roof as well. This is my favourite puppy little hidden area. So if you want to go up the stairs, um, and we'll show you the rest of the home. So your first room on the right is another good size, um, good size double room. So the furniture in here is built in. So you've got built in um, cupboards. So I'll just show you the space in there. And as well, all the way along there is built in. And you've got the lovely big window. And then this is your second bathroom with the bath in this one. So you have got the best of both worlds. size double room up here as well. Um, now I don't need to feel like you're missing out having loft space because you're definitely not. They have really made the most of the eaves. So you can sort of zoom into these cupboards if you want. Kirsty, I'll just put the light on for you. So you can see they go all the way back. Got massive boxes in there. And then this one um, is pretty big as well. And it goes right down to the front of the house, so you've got quite a lot of, lot of extra space in there. Oh yeah, so you can see through there. Now this section is for the kids and the grandchildren in the family, as I can imagine they're going to have lots of hours playing in these. So again, this is just extra storage. I'm just going to turn the light on for you, so you can... Actually, is it on that back wall there? That's it. There you go. loads of space in here and another access to the area here as well okay yep all right so we go on down and have a look in the garden you might spot the owner in there she did a little bit of gardening so Grab my shoes. So to get to the garden, we'll go through the kitchen and out by the side door. I just want to show both access points as well. So you've got a lockable gate down the end there, just for security, um, and that leads on to your barbecue area in the garden. So as you can see, you've got a lot of storage here with power. 
Yeah, so you've got your power sockets um, outside, which is why they've got the big fridge freezer. Obviously, you have got the whole shelter um, over the top, so as you can imagine, they've had lots of parties, lots of barbecues um, along here. So it's very much well. entertaining, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And as well, in this shed, you've got all your lighting, electricity, everything you could want in a workshop, outdoor shed. So, just going to show you the access at the side. So they have got a gate across. It's not big enough to get a car down there, um, but bikes can fit down quite easily. And then obviously as you can see, lovely size garden. So the bungalow sits on such a lovely size plot. As you see, we have got a garage at the top here of the ramp as well. So George will show you the top part of the garden. It does just carry on and on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there is a gate, so you can shut this off if you need to. In the morning, sort of nine, eight, nine o'clock, we do get the sunlight up here. So I'd sit up there and just kind of see the sunrise, um, and they just carry on down the garden throughout the whole day. Um, but obviously, they've currently got it as a little kit, you know, sort of space for children. So I don't know if you can see inside the garage through this window, but. And then you have got another tier here as well. So again, so you've got two nice flat tiers. You can do really what you want with it. And you've got a couple of stairs down, just into your lawn area. And so you do have lots of flowers planted around the lawn area. So in the summer um, and the spring, as you can imagine, you know, the flowers are beautiful. You can see some of the daffodils already um, coming up there. So that is Prince Charles Avenue. So. If you wanted to Ask arrange any more viewings, questions, yeah, or arrange any viewings on the home, please do give us a call, um, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.